Today's episode is brought to you by ButcherBox. ButcherBox is going to get you that good meat delivered right to your home. Speaking of delivered to your home, DoorDash. DoorDash not only does delivery of food from your favorite local restaurants, but also groceries. We'll talk about that later. Let's jump into this podcast. Hello, everybody. It's time for Ghost and Friend Dog. Ghost and Friend Dog in the morning. In the morning. Right after live, 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 live. Hello, everybody. What's up? We have episode of Cox and Crendo in the morning. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you sounded uh, much more like, oh, I didn't even know we were on a podcast. Well, uh, half the time I probably don't. Uh, <laughs> oh, why? oh, hello. Did you know we're on episode 400? I am aware. Somehow I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been 400. 400 of these. Some might say 400 too many. <laughs> well, I guess technically we haven't done the 400th yet. Like this, It's uh, in progress, but like we're doing it. You know what? I'm starting to feel our age, dude. I need to let yep. you know. All this time that I've been giving you crap about yep. going and working out. <laughs> yep. And uh, getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, went to the gym. Did something to my back, dude. Did something to my back. <laughs> I haven't been able to sit down right in a day and a half. Oh, man. This is a, this is a weird turn of events. I know. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> today, the worst part is, is today I had to get up and like do a stream with the cast of Final Fantasy 16. And while I love them and I loved everyone who came to watch... If, if people in chat were like, Jesse seems like he's like really stressed out. No, that was me trying to hide the enormous <laughs> amount of back pain. <laughs> people were like, Jesse, make sure to drink water. You look like you're stressing, dude. You're, you're, I'm like, oh, I mean, I'm stressing all right. I'm stressing. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's the worst. When you got like back pain or, you know, pelvic floor issues or you got your, your concussed heads throbbing. Right, and then you just show up like, "What's up, gamers?" And then everyone's like, "It's a little off," and you're just like, Bleh. "If I told you how off I was, you guys would be like, go, go away.'" And I'm like, "I can't do that." <laughs> yeah, I, uh, man, I can't. Sitting hurts. Um, laying down on my back hurts. So it's side or stomach, and even then, I'm just like, "Oh man, I don't want to." Yesterday, I uh, took a bunch of Tylenol. And laid down all day. The minute I got, like, I got back at, like, 11-something. I was in bed all day yesterday. <laughs> I didn't move. Right. I think half the time I was either watching something on my phone or the other half of the time sleeping. And then eventually I was like, I got to just knock myself out. And I took some delightful edibles. Shout out to drugs, I guess. <laughs> and I was out, conked out. And that was the best sleep I've had. <laughs> But I woke up today, and I was like, oh, I feel better. And then I got up, and it was like, I was like, oh. So then yeah. I hobbled to the shower and stayed in the shower for a long time. Be like, come on, warm water. Help me out. And then I got my uh, my meat tenderizing gun, whatever the hell that thing's called. Yeah. And I was just like on my back, like, come on, please. God, I got to do stuff today. And then I was, was like, nope. All right, got to go. So then I came to the office. And I sat down. I was feeling fine. Maybe because I was numbed out. I don't know. I was feeling Maybe. fine. And then about you know an hour into the stream, I was like, oh, 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 no. Oh, that's tingling in a way it probably shouldn't. So, yeah, it's been a real treat. A real treat. Tingling in a way it probably shouldn't is. I mean, like, that's the best way you can describe it. Is it's, it's There's like a pain, but the pain isn't as bad as it could be because I'm pretty sure it, like, I'm numbed out for some reason. I don't think it's probably good, but like, <laughs> it definitely hurts, but I'm like, oh, you know what? It's kind of like just a little tingle now, so yeah. that's fine, but I can't move in any sort of real way at the moment. I mean, that's what happens, right? At first, you're like, oh, and then it slowly progresses, and then you just hit that point where you're like, I just want to be normal, right? Like, even with my, oh my, my neck, it would be like, day one, I remember when I strained my neck, I was just like, I tried to go for a walk. I was like, nope, can't do that. I just sat in the chair 
And I and that was when Classic Wrath came out, and I was just sitting in my chair all day playing Classic Wrath. I may as well just had a neck brace on. <laughs> I I wish I could do that. I was thinking like, what if I went back and I sat on the couch and like played on my PlayStation and like did nothing? Nah, I couldn't do that. I can't. I'm gonna the minute we're done here, I'm gonna go back home, go into my bed, and just lay there and pray tomorrow <laughs> I'm fine. Man, that's uh, <laughs> that's my daily life. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's uh see it sucks. It's not good. No. It's very yeah. very not I just, good. I just didn't uh, I got like cocky. It's stupid. I see, was like is, I can do this. Happens. I can do this. I can do this weight. This is fine. <laughs> and I I'm like you know I couldn't. I mean I did. I did and I was fine. Yeah. And then as I was driving home I was like something's wrong. What did I? Yeah. Something's not right. <laughs> and then the rest of the day I was like, "Oh. What did oh, you do?" Oh, I was just like straight up doing bench presses. Okay. And everything was fine. And you would think that would be a chest thing. Right. I don't know what I did. I don't know if it was when I was putting the weights back. Or I don't I, I can't explain to you what I did. But uh, it was after that moment. And it might have happened earlier. Like it could have happened when I was on a machine. Like I honestly don't yeah. know. But it was at that moment where I felt something was off and I was like, all right, well, I got it. I, you know what? I, I should probably stop then. And yeah. just work on like leg stuff, and I'm not gonna. And then I was I was driving home, it was just like, ee! I was like, oh, what? <laughs> it got me. Your back, your back's just making those actual noises. It was like I, I mean, it didn't make noise. It just if that's the noise it was gonna make, it would make that noise. Like it was just deflating. Like like, ee! like just I don't know what was going on, but it sucks, dude. It's not. Yep. I will never give you shit again. It's unpleasant. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. I've been doing this for years. You're just you're joining the club now. Yeah, which, uh, well, I don't like this club. This club sucks <laughs> ass. I'm not a fan of it. I don't want to be involved. I don't want in it or around it. Yeah, that's why uh, I stopped lifting like heavier weight. I stopped trying to be like, I got a bulk and stuff. No, I'm, I'm just in maintenance mode. I show up. I'm like, you know what? I can maybe add on like another 2.5 pounds to that. Like, all right, there we go. Good. I'm done. Uh, you know, I, I, I do my different body parts every day, you know, stay in check and then just, uh, just keep doing that. I'm just, I'm working out to be healthy. Best way. I mean, so. I should get on, I should get on that train, but I, have, have you ever like just really liked hamburgers though? Yeah. Yeah. All I right. Mean, the, so the, you the, get the it. Hamburger. <laughs> well, the hamburger itself. Usually isn't the problem. It's usually like you get fries, you get like a milkshake, you like yeah, load it up when yeah. you do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so delicious. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um so yeah, that's <laughs> I know how that feels. You know, you got no. the you just get all the pains. Really I feel like it's the the perfect thing for episode four hundred. Yeah. Four hundred? Feel like four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um well, I gotta tell you my story about the my my cookout thing I went to. Uh oh, okay. Go to this cookout thing. It's like a friend, my one friend, his family always throws the cookout, right? Uh, and they always invite everybody they know to it. People come and go throughout the the, the day. So we we're like, all right, we'll go there. So me and Toaster Woman went, and then we were just sitting at a table. And my friend came over. He's like, hey, how's it going? We're like, hey, what's up? And he was talking about how he went to Colorado. And he's like, yeah, I had a great time and whatever. And then these two old people come over. All right. The one of them looks like uh, I, I would describe him as like a, your dad okay. mixed with, uh, yeah, I don't know, just <laughs> maybe it's just your dad. So my dad shows up to this. Yeah. yeah. You know, and he, he likes to travel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then his wife is with him and she sits down. She just looks like a standard, like. She looks like she'd be an English teacher. Okay. I, I see. Question. Yeah. Curly brown hair or no? Curly blonde hair. All right. I was pretty close. I was pretty yeah. close to my English and teachers. She, <laughs> yeah. She had like a turtleneck, very like put together. Like did, very, with like, the turtleneck, did she have a really long sort of beaded necklace? Uh, uh, I don't think she did. Oh, she had to have had a necklace with that. She might have. She's an English teacher. There's a necklace with that turtleneck. Yeah, it, it's possible. I may have just blocked it out. So 
<laughs> anyway, they sit down and the because all the other tables are like full of people. I guess ours is like one of the open. Okay, I was going to ask why down. they decided to sit down with you. Yeah, of all of all people, why they chose you? <laughs> really, yeah. there was nothing else open than everybody. Gotcha, understood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they sit down and then they're just like, "Oh, hey, kids!" And then we're like, "Oh, hey!" And then he's like, "What are you talking about?" We were like, "Oh, he, he, my friend just went on a trip and like all this stuff." And he's like, "Oh, yeah, uh, we like traveling, but you see that Turtles movie?" And then <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he's like, "You see that Turtles movie?" And we were like, "Turtles, like Ninja Turtles?" And he's like, "Yeah, like Ninja Turtles, you know." And so <laughs> my friend was like, uh, "I think my brother saw. It. He said it was pretty good." And he was like, "Yeah, I love the Turtles, man. In the '80s, I love the Turtles." And I know wait, how like, old oh, is this cool. dude? Hold on, hold on. This guy can't be that uh, old. He's like late fifties. Okay, Probably late fifties. I'm trying to think, yeah. like, in the, he loves the turtles in the 80s, so maybe he was born in, like, 1970, maybe. Yeah. So I guess that like, checks out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it, he probably matches up there. So anyway, he's like, yeah, turtles. And we're like, okay. Uh, and then my friend was just like, ah, oh, but I like SpongeBob and all this. And we were talking about SpongeBob, and his wife was so bored. She was just waiting for other old people to show up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other old people did show up. I must have been their friends because they're like, oh, hey, Lynn. And they're like, oh, hey, Deborah. And then they're like, ah, nah, nah, and they just start talking. And then the old guy, he looks like he doesn't care about the old people. He feel, I think he re tries to relate more to the younger people, right? And so he was just like, in Colorado, you smoke any pot? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, you do that? And then my friend was like, oh, yeah, I had some. And then he was like, oh, yeah, I love pot. <laughs> and then his wife just looks over like, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the other two people that sat down were like, oh, yeah. Uh, and they just keep talking. And then they start talking about traveling. And then she's like, I went to New York. Uh, and, you know, I've, I've been all over. And then our, our son and daughter, you know, our daughter, she's in New York. So I had to keep going there. She just had a baby. And, like, I got pictures. And then there she's, like, showing pictures to everybody. And then they're like, and our son, he's like marrying, uh, he's marrying this girl and they're getting married in Japan because she's from Japan. And so they're like, oh, that's very cool. How's Japan or whatever. And then the old guy, swear to God, maybe one of the craziest quotes, he just busted it out. He's just like, you know, when I was talking to her, she said that Japan's got a population problem. And the thing is. If, the, if if uh, if somebody wants to go over there, they can like go there and like try to repopulate. So like, if God forbid something happens to my beautiful wife, I could go meet a Japanese woman and like live there and just try to populate the country. And everyone just looked at him like, what? Like you just bust this out of nowhere. But it didn't surprise me because leading up to this, I was like, this guy's a little crazy. And then this I man was like, is like my dad. In fact, he's like me too. I'll be honest. I, I definitely have in the past said something like this while dating a person directly in their face. Like if something should ever happen, like I would definitely sleep with that person. Like don't do that, kids. Don't like don't like, don't be like me. That's what I'm saying. This man, he might have just been a great relative or like a. Are you sure he wasn't me from the future? <laughs> it's possible, or like a different timeline, but the yeah, same timeline. Yeah, I just came to see you. Like, dude, <laughs> let me tell you, if I had to go to Japan, I'd knock everybody up. <laughs> Everyone's getting preggers if I go to Japan. <laughs> let me tell you. So, yeah, he was. <laughs> he gave that, that quote, and then uh, that, that was really the. That was. That was really the it. I don't even know what I said. That was really it. That was like his main thing. And then I was like, well, we got to get going. So <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> and uh, we did leave. But I was we like, that is, some, <laughs> that is some great A podcast material. I love so, that guy. That guy and I, <laughs> I would have had fun there with that dude. You probably would have. He was, and I would have kept up. <laughs> I would be like, another drink, dude? I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and then I wrote down something else. It was about... I think it was Starbucks. It might have been Starbucks. It was some like coffee place. And all that all I heard the person say back there is they're like, you want to know what the hardest thing to make is? The tea. Wh what? Yeah, they're like, the hardest thing to make is the hot tea. And I was like, 
wait, what? But I, I was thinking about it and I was like, maybe it's because you have to like steep it. And then if you over steep, it, it's bad. If you under steep, you have to like keep the timer and you're like doing everything else. Like maybe that's why. But then you just like have a timer. But I guess maybe you don't have time to set the timer because you're busy. Like, I don't know. I yeah, was I, weird. the tea. I mean, most of the time they just pour the hot water in with the bag and then hand it to you. Yeah. So like, like I've I, been to Starbucks. <laughs> they don't give a damn about the tea. They're like, all right, your tea's done. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know why they're just talking about that. Because, yeah, I thought the same thing. They just pour it in. They're like, you steep it yourself, idiot. And you're yeah. like, okay. Uh, so, I don't know. I wrote that down because that was weird. And it is weird. It, um, it is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see. Anything else crazy happened this week? I don't think so. Well, it is episode 400. It is. And I think we owe the audience some some good stuff. We some very well, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I figure we should do a callback to something that um, we've done in the past. Yeah. And that, my friends, is Cosmopolitan Magazine. Oh boy. Now a classic. A, a classic. Here's <laughs> the thing: four hundred episodes. Yep. We're about to call ourselves out right now, dude. 400 <laughs> episodes. Cosmo has a quiz, I think, just for us. Oh, boy. Take this couple's quiz to learn how well you know your partner. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so we have several questions here that I think the two of us can answer together. Yep. And the first question is, oh, boy, this is going to be rough. Great. What's your partner's all-time favorite animal? For you, sloth. Easy. Winner. Um, I don't know. See, like, sloth what? is You can't thing. tell me it's not your favorite. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sloth is the thing people always compare me to. That doesn't mean it's my favorite. Well, what is your favorite? Help me. Teach me. Uh, I feel like we had this thing before. It was either, probably either a, a squirrel or a skunk. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Those are two very <laughs> different things, but okay. There's, all right. Well, then what do you think my favorite is? Uh, let's see. Your favorite animal? It's, it's probably just like a dog. A, do a dog? My favorite is just <laughs> yeah. a dog? Uh, all right. Yeah, okay. Dog. No way. My favorite animal is like a... Uh... Or it's be some crazy shit. <sighs> yeah, like a platypus. Yeah. <laughs> I love a good platypus. <laughs> All right. Okay. See, we're learning stuff about each other. Yeah, this there is you wonderful. Go. Probably right. stuff we should have known, but here we are. <laughs> yep. What is your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? And uh, I'm asking you, what is my favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? Uh, probably The Rock. Wow. This man knows what's up. <laughs> it is one of my favorites. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know that I have a favorite favorite, but that's up there for sure. Yeah, I just know you got that one on VHS. Uh, for you, I was it, first off, it was DVD. Okay. Wasn't VHS? <laughs> not yeah. that old. Um, <laughs> for you, oh boy, um, your favorite movie. I here's the thing. Normally, I'd go for a David Lynch film, right? But I don't believe that. Mm hmm. I would say your favorite movie is, oh boy, um, I'm going to take a wild swing. Mm -hmm. Your favorite movie is, in fact, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, I'd say it's up there, but I don't think it'd be my favorite. Oh, okay. All right. What is your favorite? Uh, I probably got a few favorites, but they're all kind of the same, which is pretty much uh, any of the top. Studio Ghibli movies. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I should have guessed yep. that. I should have guessed yep. it. I should have guessed it. They're all great. Very cozy. You got uh, a yeah. Spirited Away. Howl's Moving Spirited Castle. Away. Yeah, that's a winner. Kiki's Delivery. And uh, Princess Mononoke. Those four. Mm, okay. Top tier. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Next question. What is the best place you've ever traveled to? For you, I'm going to say... Wisconsin. Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's the best place. Uh, what's the best place you ever traveled to? 
Uh, I'd probably say, uh, mm, see, it's kind of a too, it's too generic of a question. Cause uh, are we talking like states? What's the are best we talking place, specific uh, nah, places? Ever, are we, the best place you've ever traveled to. I mean, if we're saying places, I could be like, oh, the gym. That is <laughs> <laughs> That's what that I mean. That's the most Crendor answer I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh, uh, the gym is pretty the awesome. The best place I've gone is the gym because it helps me to live a better life. I'm over here like Machu Picchu <laughs> when I climbed the mountains. What an amazing time. And you're like, the gym down the street's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, in terms of like traveling on an airplane somewhere, I'd say I like San Antonio. Okay. All right. San Antonio feels like a town you would enjoy. I get that. Yeah. I liked it. Okay. It was pretty good. You know, Boston was a little too old. Uh, I like Boston, but it's still it's a little too old for me. <laughs> too old. I don't like that. I don't like the, the like old timey East Coast towns are always like every house is like there's like ghosts living there and shit. There's like water. Everybody's just like, hey, what the fuck's going on? And they're just yelling. I don't, I don't like the vibe. I like over it. There. It's honest. When they I yell at you, you know the what they're thinking. They're not like BSing. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. like LA people will smile at you and be like, what a piece of shit. Well, yeah, that's why I don't like L.A. <laughs> in Boston, they're like, get out of the way, you big piece of shit. I'll run you over and kill you, dog. <laughs> You're like, all right, I know where this guy's coming from. <laughs> that was literally, I think it was Boston. We had that security guard is like, where are you going? And we're like, over here. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was yelling at us. We told him what was up, and he was like, all right, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the honesty. I'm just saying the vibes overall. I'm kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. Okay. Uh, London was cool, like the UK. I don't think I'd want to live there, but it's cool to visit. Oh, I want to live there so bad. I like if uh, I could, I'd move to the UK in a heartbeat. I <laughs> love it. Damn. Yeah. Uh, it's too expensive. I couldn't actually ever do it. But yeah. like you know, if I ever you know make become a millionaire, I might one day be like me, Jesse Cox, broadcasting from London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah There you go Okay Here's a good one <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like we can answer this Does your partner consider themselves introverted or extroverted? I'm going to say you consider yourself introverted See, I used to But I'd oh say I'm more, I, I'm more ambiverted now There was only two options There wasn't ambiverted Well, it should be an option well, there's only two options. You're either introverted or extroverted. Which one are you? Well, not everything's just, uh, <laughs> well, you know, one or two peanut butter, jelly, black or white, right? Sometimes That's what it is right now. In this it's scenario, not. it's black and white, introverted, extroverted. I used to think I was more introverted, but then I realized I'm more ambiverted because I do enjoy doing extroverted things and I do going out and socializing and being around people, but you I only like it for so long. You just said that you like going to the gym. It was your favorite place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you can be an introvert at the gym, but you can be an extrovert at the gym. I guess you're right. I guess Which you're correct. Which is why I'm ambiverted. I like, uh, I'm, I've said it, but I like being around people a lot of the times, but I don't like really like talking to people that much. Like if it's like one person, like when I go to the gym, I know like a couple of the trainers there. So like when I'm working out, they'll just be like, hey, you play uh, Baldur's Gate? And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty fun. And they're like, I think I was going to get it. And I'm like, yeah, you should get it. It's pretty cool. And they're like, all right. And then I like go about my thing. <laughs> Wait, do they right. know you as, like, internet guy? Yes, they do. Every, everyone at the gym is like, yo, that's Crendor. <laughs> Not everybody, but there's a couple. And so he, they're always just like, you play this game? <laughs> Should I get it? So they always just ask that. I'm like, yeah, or no. Do they watch uh, your stuff? Yeah, the one guy I watched, but he's like, I don't really watch World of Warcraft stuff, so like, I don't watch a lot of that. But he's like, I watched your... Uh, you're like Diablo video, and I watched the uh, like some of the Va or like Blood Bowl things. And I was like, nice. That's cool. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, but uh, at least he's smart not to waste his time on Warcraft. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> at least he's not a League of Legends player. Uh, <laughs> so, it's, so it's uh oh, that's good. But like, that's the thing. It's like I'm not there, and I'm not like, oh god, I gotta talk to these people. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, I'm just, but I don't want to talk for too long. Is the other thing. Like, I feel like someone like you, you could talk for like 10 years. That is true. But me, I'm just like, I'll hit a point. I'm like, man, I really have to just not talk right now. 
Uh, so yeah. All right. I don't know. I, I go like I go play Warhammer with my friends, and it's fun. But after listen, after like a three or four hour game, I'm like, I want to just go be alone. But then I have a friend there who's extroverted, like extremely extroverted. He's like, Yo, you guys want to do something else? And I'm like, No, <laughs> I'm I'm going home. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious I'm extroverted. So that's not even a tough question for you. Yes. Um, <laughs> yep. All right. What yep. are your significant other's vices? Get What are my vices? Uh, <laughs> isn't that just like your... Uh, I know what a vice is, but I'm also making sure I know what a vice is. That's fine. Okay. You can Google it. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Uh... Working. <laughs> my vice is working? That's true. That is yeah. that is a vice. But uh, Overworking. Overworking is definitely a vice. I do have many others, yeah. though, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's see. Man, that's the main one. That I've got a lot of vices. Um, let's see. How about uh, not responding to messages in a timely fashion? Yeah, that's one of them. That sounds right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Those are probably two main ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's really bad. Those are probably two main ones. For you, vices, time mm -hmm. management. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Everybody knows I run on Kren time. Yeah, Kren time is its own thing. You just get used to it. <laughs> yep. The best part is, I yep. always, every time someone schedules us together in something, they're always like, yo, when's Krenda going to show up? And I'm like, when did you tell him to come? Like 5.30. I'm like, you should have said 5 o'clock, dummy. You should have said 5. <laughs> Literally everybody I know, like every time I'm like, Sin Victor was just like, you want to play Pokemon? I was like, yeah, I should be at like 9. And he's like, all right, 10.30, got it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then even in real life, they're like, let's play our, uh, we're going to meet up for Warhammer at like 6.30. And I was like, all right, sounds good. And they're like, oh, wait, I mean like uh, like 5.45, right. 5.45. <laughs> 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 and they did like a little wink face. I was like, you can't fool me. <laughs> yeah, I always have to be like, why'd you tell him the real time? You gotta tell him like 30 minutes in advance. Exactly. He'll show up right on time. You guys will be so thankful. Yeah, so, yeah, my, it definitely is my one of my weak points right there, yep. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go to, oh, wow. I don't think I would ever know this one. Mm-hmm. What's your partner's go-to karaoke song? Uh Oh man. Uh We can just share it. I feel like we can sh I don't I there's no way I could guess yours in a million years. <laughs> uh I don't know if I can guess yours. That's I don't think you could at all. No. What is yours? Mine So I love karaoke but only when I could do something Way above my normal octave, because mm. at that point I'm drunk and I'm like, let's get crazy. So, yep. uh, like, um, I believe in a thing called love. I can see that. Uh, me, I feel like I'd want to do the like crazy, maybe the the bassy songs. No, you know what I do? I do like. Uh, <laughs> 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 the worst part is, is even though you spoke absolute gibberish, I knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> yeah. Although I have to be honest, that would be a ter imagine a bar full of a bunch of drunks and you just be like, ah, skies <laughs> like that'd be so people would be like crying, <laughs> like why? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <they're> <laughs> <laughs> well, I, why would you do that to a bar full of drunks? No, we got to get you doing, like, Elvis. Yeah, I brought it. Cold in a trail. <laughs> and I can get it out. Like, like, yeah, we need you to do that. <laughs> oh, meatloaf. You know what? I can do meatloaf. I could I could do, uh, but I won't do that. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd probably go crazy. I'd be like System of a Down. Oh, I would love to hear you sing System of a Down. Because I, lo I love how... I, I can do the like rat on him. I can do those like it on him. You just gotta you do the twangy Wake voice, and then you just go like oh. yeah. Oh hell yeah! All right, I'm here for that. Yeah. I'd love that. I'd love doing that. That'd be fun. Okay, uh, Here, here's a good one for you. <laughs> All right. What Hogwarts house would you be, and why? 
See, a lot of people say I'm Hufflepuff. I know you're like, not Hufflepuff. Oh, I know you're not. <laughs> I know you're not. I would, I would definitely be in Slytherin. Yeah, one hundred percent. So would I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there, there's a few reasons why. Number one is probably my lack of empathy. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not like I don't care, but I just, I feel like compared to a lot of people, I, I definitely have less empathy. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's part of it. Uh, the other thing is I'm very competitive. Yes, you are. Like very competitive. You just got to be on my team in League of Legends. You'll learn that. Yep. Uh, or just like watch sports. It's, <laughs> I love it. like, oh man, today, just watching the, the the Packer Bear stuff and just watching Packers do great and then the Bears just like suffer. It feels so good and watching like the comments of just like sadness. I see that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those types of things. Well of course. You know? <laughs> so yeah. I get that. Yeah. I also uh didn't try very hard in school. It's probably also somewhat more of a Slytherin thing. I every time I take one of those stupid quizzes, it's like you are Gryffindor. I'm like, no I'm not. Don't don't get it twisted. Just, like if you put me in Gryffindor day one, I'd be like, "Who the shit is this Harry Potter kid? Why is everyone every time we do anything, he gets to do all the work? What is this? What is it? I'd be so jealous. I'd be <laughs> such a piece of shit. I'd be so bad." It's also like Gryffindor is also like very honorable and like yeah, no, I wouldn't you know, like they're sticking up for their friends. Like, oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like I'd stick up for friends, but only if it was like you talking shit, you talking shit on my friends over here, right? Yeah, but like uh. Yeah, I wouldn't go fight a snake for anyone. Like you're out of your mind. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, are you kidding no me? Way. I'd be like, <laughs> look at these idiots. Harry Harry Potter's <laughs> getting the school attacked. I'd be like, Harry, cut if that shit out. <laughs> I'm just trying to go to my twelfth year. <laughs> I, get, yeah. I got and my <laughs> postgraduate wizarding to do. What the hell are you doing over here? Oh yeah, I'd be Slytherin for sure. Ravenclaw is too much like nerd kids. Like oh, all the yeah. smart kids go there. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then Hufflepuff, like, to me, the most Hufflepuff person I know is, like, Dodger. Dodger's 100% Hufflepuff because she would be like, I don't wear shoes. Yeah, she's like, I don't wear shoes. She's, like, working in her, like, backyard farm. Yeah. Just, like, eating food, drinking coffee, uh, and just uh, just probably, I, th I feel like in Hufflepuff, too, they sit around and they're just like, fart. <laughs> But <laughs> who's that guy like, that. who uh like gets the sword at the end and saves Harry? Who's that dude? Oh, uh Neville. She date Neville, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. She Neville would Definitely. be a thing and and they would be like, he'd be like Oh lo I love Sam. you, don't you? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> it's literally a Sam I am stripping, he's Neville. <laughs> Yeah. Sam's definitely a Gryffindor, even though he says he'd be Slytherin. He's he's always sticking up for his friends. He's on. He's always trying to do the oh, right thing. Oh, he's a Gryffindor. He's Gryffindor. Shit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hundred percent. Absolutely. You and I, we're the two goons that always hang out with Malfoy. <laughs> we definitely are. <laughs> We'd be like, let's get him, Malfoy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, sneaking around like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Whenever we do anything, there's like weird cartoon sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Whoa. Yeah, that's definitely us. No doubt about and it. And he's like, you goons, you're not doing it correct. We're like, we're just following uh, your geez. orders, boss. <laughs> we won't mess up again. <laughs> that stupid Dumbledore. He's very dumb and stupid. We'll get that Harry Potter, we will. <laughs> Show him what's what. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna need fan art of that immediately. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if things like like if they got too crazy where they're just like, yo, we're gonna like assassinate this guy, it's like, whoa, <laughs> hold well, let's on, let's not now. get that crazy. I we signed up to, to beat be him up and evil, take his but lunch not money. a bad person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, what would your partner do if they suddenly came into a vast fortune? Oh, you, I already know. You talked about it. You said we'd go to Vegas. That's true. And give everybody a million dollars. I would make everyone spend their money immediately. I'd be like, don't bring anything. I'm giving you a bag with money in it. <laughs> buy whatever you want. If you need stuff to wear, buy it there. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's our oh weekend. My God. No one can, can leave with imagine? any money. <laughs> That sounds like it would be an amazing Nick Cage movie. He takes all his friends. 
<laughs> he's like, we're going to Vegas. Everyone gets a million dollars. You're going to spend it. I'm going to check in on all of you. That's it. That is That's all I want. Crazy antics occur. I yeah. want to see what would happen if all of you had, like, I would have to make a, like, okay, look, I just got a bunch of money. All of you, I'm going to give you, I don't know, a million dollars just to come with me. Keep it, mm. save it, put it in the bank. That's my gift to you. But this other million, <laughs> you must spend it. <laughs> Do not save it. If I find out that you bought a $2 million anything, I'm going to come for you. <laughs> I will have hired goons. I will have a security guard around it. I have to set up, like, my, I'll, like I'll hire, like, sexy chick security guards. You know what I mean? So you're, like, you <laughs> yeah. feel a little awkward. Like, I don't want to, you know. Right? And then the sexy chick security guard would be like, spend that money. You got to spend that money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd make sure you spend all that money. I'd be like, all right, we're going out. We'd go to see, like, uh, David Copperfield and throw bills at him while he's on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dance for us, Magic no Man. Doubt. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a staple of the Vegas experience. <laughs> Last time I was there, they were selling shoes that I think were, oh, boy. They were some type of, maybe it was Burberry or some, some type of shoe. $800 shoes. Those shoes, I was like, bro, that's, you can get those down at that, like, sneaker warehouse for like 25 bucks. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'd be like, all right, you got to buy, if you want new shoes, buy the $800 shoes. Let's go. Oh, 100%. I want everyone to be like, spend this, get rid of it, live your best weekend. Oh, I'd be, I'd be eating in like crazy fancy food. Oh, yeah. It's like, today we're busting out the $20,000 wine. And here's Bring the thing, I would be like, okay, yeah, that's a good way to spend that money. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. I'd be the first. And then I could like uh, go into the cool kid lounge, there's like athletes and stuff in there. Oh, you 100% <laughs> could. I'd make us yeah. all go the first day we got there. We'd go to the most expensive hotel slash casino there was, go into their like high roller section. I'd be like, everyone has to lose $1,000 right now, go. I'm telling <laughs> you, we'd figure it out. Oh, 100%. Yeah, you... Oh, my goodness. I think if you had a vast fortune, I think you would yeah. put it all in the bank and not touch any of it. You would keep it saved. <laughs> you would probably, like, get, again, probably a nice bottle of wine, but not too expensive. You'd, you would go yeah. for rating over price every day. Yeah. And then you and Toast, I think, would, if anything, uh, probably find a different house. Yeah. But it wouldn't be too opulent. It would be no. just a normal house that you like a little <laughs> bit more. Uh, but yeah. I guarantee in the exact same area. Yeah. And probably. You would uh, buy a new car, but it would be something like a used Ford Taurus. Um. It would Maybe be not a used Ford Taurus, but it would definitely be, be like a used like Honda or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be like a used but like, Toyota. Yeah, like a used <laughs> Honda Civic. You know, like but like a new one, like a new like one that like some old lady drove for like to the grocery store, like back and forth for like two years, then was like, I'm not driving anymore. It's scary, and then like sold it. Right, like you wouldn't get a new new one because the minute you drive it off the lot, <laughs> yeah. it loses all its value. Exactly. So you would buy a used one, <laughs> gently cared for by an old lady. Yeah, no, that checks out completely. Pretty much everything you said, and then maybe like uh, have like some like sports tickets or something. Oh yeah, you get season tickets. Yeah, I and mean, maybe not even season tickets. Well, it depends on. I think you the get. I think you get Packers season was. tickets, and because you're so rich, you wouldn't spend your money on a bunch of. Sh you you'd spend it on a helicopter to fly you to the game. Oh, I wouldn't go in a helicopter. No. <laughs> <laughs> you spend it on a man to no, drive you. you to the game. You'd have a driver. Yeah, probably. Yeah, actually, actually you know what? No, I'd drive. Damn it. I man, I got it. nothing. I don't know how you spend your money. You're going to have that <laughs> generational wealth. You're going to have money for <laughs> 16 generations. I would just prefer the, the comfort of, like, not having to worry about money. And then you can just do whatever you want to do. Sure. You know, just, like, make videos, stream when you want. You know, uh, just, like, everything. It'd be, you know, you don't have to work. That's like the best part. And then you can just, you know, have slightly better everything, but nothing crazy. Like, I don't want a mansion. Like, uh, yeah. Fantastic. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Then what about yeah. this one? If you had a superpower, what would it be? For you, 
I think your superpower would be indestructibility. That would be nice. <laughs> like you couldn't get hurt anymore. That would that would actually be a fantastic superpower. I would love that one. I figured as much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other superpower I'd want. Like, I guess the I wouldn't want to be invisible. No, you're a simple Probably man. Walk. You just want to like not get beat up. Yeah. Yeah, probably just <laughs> that would be that would be great. I'd love that. Uh, the other one I was thinking of, maybe like uh, uh, actually no. You know what? Yeah, it probably just would be that. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Uh, yours would be. Go on. Probably some sort of fast travel, like teleportation. Yo, that would be one hundred percent it. The ability to go yeah. from, like, one point to another point. Like, if I could go from here to, like, somewhere overseas in a blink of an eye, man, that'd be the best. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that would definitely be because then it would just speed up your traveling. I, yeah, I love you to travel. To I hate it. traveling. That's the biggest yeah. problem. <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe I'd want telepathy to see what, like, people were thinking. No. And I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to know what people are thinking. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Yeah, uh, every maybe, time. Maybe if I could just listen in on people's conversations better. Oh, even that I don't <laughs> like want to know. Like sometimes I think, even, yeah, I want to know what people are saying, but then I'm like, mm, no, I don't. Never mind. People say yeah. insane stuff. They do say insane stuff. I, yeah, that's why. Yeah, no, just indestructibility. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be uh, an interesting duo. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't be hurt, and I'll be there eventually. <laughs> 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 what a theme. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> the last question, the best one. All right. Is your partner more dominant or submissive? <laughs> um. Uh-huh. You know, I would say people... Uh, would probably see you more as like the submissive big teddy bear guy. <laughs> Plus, what you always you always seek out like powerful women. Yo, that's true. That's, that's true like though. That's thing. true though. Yeah, yeah. You're just like I want a woman to yell at me, do fast ASMR, and tell me to work. And you're <laughs> that's that's what you want. I mean, like there's other things I want in there, but like that's pretty well, much yeah, yes. that's accurate. But that tends to be <laughs> the template <laughs> of what you seek out. There's like a few other things, you know, that I want to be as rough. But like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's I mean, that's true. That's true. Yeah. You, I think you're dominant, and that you know what you want. And if it's not something you want, you don't want to have anything to do with it, which means that you don't get suckered into doing stupid shit. That is very accurate. I would say I'm like probably 75 dominant, 25 not. I mean, like, here's the thing. I know you're dominant, but I'm also trying to weigh you against host dominance. And I feel like <laughs> she, like, you're dominant, but she's like dominant to your dominance. Um, not as much as you'd think. Oh, I she's think, more, I uh, think she like. That's why I say it's 75, 25. There's still like 25. But, like, she'll tell you, like, oh, he's stubborn. <laughs> you're right. You're right. She acknowledges <laughs> your stubbornness. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I'm very much set in my, like, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm doing. I'm probably not going to be swayed either way. It's just, like, I, I set my mind. I'm like, yep. I'm open minded still. Sure. But, <laughs> you know. Uh, plus, I'm very much like a, uh, uh, it may not seem like it, but I'm a very, like, uh, go-getter type person. Like, usually, if I have to, like, do something, like, do an errand or, like, get this thing done, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. Like, I have to clean. Got to get it done. Because I think people still see as, like, the sloth thing, like, oh, go slow. I lay around. Really, it's more like I'm the sloth that's driving the crazy car. <laughs> Wait, right? what? Like, what? In Zootopia, where he's, like, working at the DMV, and then he, like, at the end, he's like, oh, and he gets into his, like, Ferrari and, like, drives off, like, a 200 miles an hour. I forgot about that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit like that, because, like, I I very much am like, all right, I got to go do this thing. Got to go to the gym. Got to get this done. Got to make a video. Got to edit. And I'm just like, God, got no time for that. I got to do this thing. Damn. Like, I get very, like, uh, focus-minded. I don't, like, lose focus. All right. 
I like it. I like it a lot. That's very, very like it describes a lot of who you are, uh, except for the time management bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I'm so well, that's I very with. focused, except for what I'm this not. Is, <laughs> this actually kind of explains my time management, all right? Because what happens is I'm like, okay, so I got to be there at 6.30. So I think I'll leave the gym at like 5.30 and then I'll have time. And then I'm like, you know what? I can do like 5.45. Like I can push it. I'll be fine. And then I get in the traffic and I'm like, oh, but I forgot to get a thing at the grocery store. I'm like, I can swing by there real quick. And I'm like, yeah, the, they'll be fine. <laughs> and then before you know it, I'm like, oh, boy, it's 630. And I'm checking out the grocery store. I'm like, ah, it, it's going to be all right. I mean, it is all right, usually. Yeah. In the, except everyone's a little fr frustrated. But <laughs> you're <laughs> that's doing what happens. great. I start, like, I start doing that in my head. Like, oh, I got to do this thing. And I'm like, I mean, I, I could just go to the thing I'm supposed to do. But I'm like, no, nah, it'll be fine. And I just say that in my head. I think I actually have gotten more like that the older I've gotten. Because I think back when we started this show, I was definitely less of that. But I think as I've gotten older and gone through pain and, you know, life, it's just, uh, I get why you're old just people over it. become like, the eh, way they are. I'm done. Yeah, you, like, just, yeah, no. <laughs> you, just, you just start getting over it. Understood. I feel, look, trust me, I feel that way right now about sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Like, what if I yep. just uh, didn't anymore? What if I never sat <laughs> down again? <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Are we going to keep going with the, these other things? Or are we doing the other parts of the show? Whatever whatever we, works uh, for you. I don't care. All right. We, uh, we got this other thing we got to do. But I think we could just do that instead of the news story because there's no good news stories I checked. <laughs> Great. Done. Yeah. All right. Then yeah. let's go two advertisements <laughs> i was really excited like let's go do a doll we gotta do this other thing first well you know what 400 episodes still haven't really worked out how this whole damn thing works but here we are <laughs> yeah speaking of here ooh, that's rough here is a great deal on butcher box for you did you know that if you want to get the Highest quality meat and seafood that you definitely can trust. 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork-raised crate-free, wild-caught seafood, humanely raised, no antibiotics, no hormones, none of that nonsense. Delivered right to your doorstep. Free shipping. ButcherBox is the way to do it. Right now, let me tell you, the ButcherBox I just got in the mail, ooh, I made a steak the other night. Uh, it was so good. I tried to do it in my air fryer because I saw a recommendation for doing that. And so I oh. just like seasoned up, salt and peppered that bad boy and put it in the air fryer and it came out like pretty good. I was shocked. Uh, usually I'm like a pan slash oven boy. And um, this was like a different experience, but it was nice to do. The best part is ButcherBox gives you the cuts that make having a good meal like that just even easier. You know what I mean? Just... Solid cuts of meat delivered right to you. The convenience, the cost, the taste, the quality, it all makes sense. The best part is ButcherBox also allows you to curate your own types of boxes. So if you're just like a red meat kind of guy or you just want chicken or maybe you want to switch it up and you want some pork, you want seafood, whatever the case may be, you can definitely do that with ButcherBox. And the best part is right now, if you go to butcherbox.com slash cox and use code COX to get $20 off your first order, you can jump in on the ButcherBox family as well. Again, that is butcherbox.com slash cox. Use code COX to claim the deal for $20 off your first order. Also, today we're brought to you by DoorDash. Missing the syrup for your pancakes or maybe you ran out of your favorite coffee creamer? Well, with DoorDash Grocery Delivery, you can get what you want right when you need it. Let the convenience of getting what you want delivered straight to your door change your reality. With DoorDash Grocery Delivery, you can stock up for the week or order last-minute cravings conveniently. Burn that last piece of toast, avocado gone bad, don't worry, they got you. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver restaurant favorites, and now they'll do groceries as well. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered or they'll make it right. 
So sit back and enjoy quality groceries that are picked just like you would have picked them yourself. For more value, save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with Dash Pass membership. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to $25 when you use code COX, COX at checkout. Limited time. Terms obviously may apply. That's 50% off up to $20, no minimum subtotal, zero delivery fees on your first order. And when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code COX. Don't forget, use code COX for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. All right, Crendor, what is the thing that you have today? What the shit are you talking about? <laughs> I thought we were I thought we were I thought we were weren't going to the to the to I thought we were doing something else. No, we're still doing our standard stuff here. Oh, oh, okay. All right, Crendor, let's go to Chapter 7 Sky. Crendor, I was a drummer out there. I was about to say, I wasn't up in the sky for nothing today. All right. Um. Yeah, traffic's looking good. Back to you. Damn it. All right. <laughs> What's going on in the world of sports? Weather. Shit, uh, it's falling apart. We're falling apart. <laughs> It's falling 400 apart. episodes. 400 episodes, everybody. <laughs> we have a weather request for Sneak. Typical historic town that grew due to trade because of its connection to several waterways, some natural and some man-made. Its most famous building is called the Water Port or the Watergate, often attributed to the fact that it's portrayed on one of the ace cards in traditional Dutch card deck. In the 19th century, it's became, it's be, it became custom to draw famous landmarks on the various ace cards to make them visually more interesting, but also for educational purposes. Also, the correct way to pronounce sneak is sneak, sneak, sneak. I don't know what that means. What do you mean, sneak, sneak, sneak? Is that like a thing? <laughs> are we know. getting punked right now? I think we probably are getting punked. By the way, I just want to uh, say, going to sneak and checking out right now, mm-hmm. McDonald's Sneak McDrive is one of the, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's Sneak McDrive? That's uh, incredible. McDonald's Sneak McDrive. The McDri- the old McDrive. Oh, McDrive. The old Sneak McDrive. <laughs> um, well, let's have Whoppy do this one cuz it's episode 400. Hell yes. <laughs> Whoppy activated. Sneak Friesland, Netherlands, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like 55. Pressure, 30.14 inches. Visibility, 10 miles. UV index, zero. Wind, 13 miles per hour. Humidity, 74%. 727 AM sunrise, 729 PM sunset. Moon phase, waxing gibbous. Monday, 66, partly cloudy. Tuesday, 70, cloudy. Wednesday, 70, cloudy. Thursday, 66, cloudy. Friday, 65, a.m. showers. Saturday, partly cloudy, 66. Sunday, 68, a.m. showers. Monday, 70, a.m. showers. All right. <laughs> Shower. <laughs> that guy was. That guy died. I found a restaurant that I think is the most you and I restaurant in the world called Restaurant right. Under the Lincoln Sneak. I don't know what that means. It sounds like Under Lincoln Sneak. Um, under the Lincoln Sneak. But this restaurant, the vibe is the most, like, the street is pure people watching. Oh, yeah. The restaurant's all wines and breads and mussels and, like, weird-ass stuff that I'm here for. Oh, man. This place is <laughs> oh, yeah. the most Cox and Crendo restaurant I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, this very much is. Wow, I love this. Yeah, this place would be a ton of fun. Stuff. They got oh, some good-looking eggs. I would sit it's outside. Like some... It's like right outside on the street in a main thoroughfare area where there's all sorts of people to look at. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then the bucket of mussels. They got some crazy beer. And then for some reason, they still have croquettes. Everywhere we go, croquette. Everywhere. What's a croquette? It's like a... <laughs> this is going to sound real rude to everyone who eats them. <laughs> But like a meat mush <laughs> inside of a, uh, I don't know, imagine like a like a corn dog, but not really. <laughs> I don't know how to describe a corn it. corn dog, but not really. Yeah, it's not really that because it's like some sort of meat gravy inside of a breaded and then deep fried cylindrical dong shape. 
and then that sounds, and then they'll put it on <laughs> bread. Terrible. And then it, here's the thing: it's not bad. It's actually pretty delicious. I don't understand why they then put it on bread because it's already breaded. But um, yeah, yeah, you can get sandwiches. Uh, when I was in Amsterdam, that's one of the first things I had day one. Was one of those, and I was like, not bad, not bad. But uh, it is like a weird. Yeah, deep fry it and then uh, put it on this rye bread or whatever, and then you know add some I don't know butter. I I can't remember how it was made, but I was like, this is a lot. This feels like a lot. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta yeah you see this place. This is here you go. It says it's called Tref Punt, but it's literally just a guy <laughs> just standing outside smoking by a bicycle. Is this a restaurant? <laughs> What is this? Yeah. It says <laughs> Tref Punt. It's got seven reviews. They're all five stars. No way. This is like someone's... That's a garage. Someone said, am an experienced drinker who who always enjoys a few small beers here until late at night. So I guess this is a bar? This, it's a a gara- this is a garage. This is that's someone's <laughs> garage. There's no way. <laughs> I'm looking yeah, at this right now. It is several garages right next to a bunch of houses. There's no way this is a bar. It says it's a bar. That uh, I do not believe it. Unless it's someone. I'm going to try and go around the house. Nope, Street View doesn't go around the house. <laughs> this is, there's no way this is a bar. This is literally the end of a street, and then it's multiple garage doors. There's no way this is a bar. <laughs> <laughs> is there no? Is there any may, uh, actual like, like? Can you click it and see the bar? Can you? Is anyone drinking there, or is it just one uh, lone man who looks like a Russian hitman sitting there with his bicycle? <laughs> I don't. Know. Let's see if I can drop in. Maybe let's drop. Me. Uh, nope. It's literally same thing. This it can't be. There's got to be something else. I'm literally typing in <laughs> Tref Punt Sneak. <laughs> there's nothing there's no dude it says cafe seven stars this can't yeah. be accurate there's nothing there <laughs> it's like a housing complex that's what i'm saying there's no way <laughs> yeah yeah well there's zero there is z- <laughs> hold on there's restaurant guru has a website for it oh okay does it have any no photos not a single photo this you know what the fact there's like <laughs> one very Eastern European dude standing out in front of it makes you think this. We have discovered something that we probably shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to. Dive <laughs> maybe into maybe this we shouldn't one. look at this anymore. <laughs> uh, I did find a weird looking corn dog thing, but I don't think it's what you're talking about. The weird looking corn dog thing is not, but the thing next to it is. Oh. Ah, I see that thing. It looks like a big mozzarella stick. It does, yeah. It's like a mozzarella stick. It's exactly what it's like, except not cheese. It's meat gravy. Uh, I'm not a big gravy person. Probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, so that's neat. All right, then. Let's go to sports. Sports. Uh, Oh, boy. We had sports today. First, we'll do baseball. Uh, We got the... Orioles clinching the division with the Tampa Bay Rays also clinching a playoff spot. The Twins clinching the division. Then you got the Rangers, Astros, and Mariners battling it out for another playoff spot over there, as well as the Blue Jays. Uh, In the National League, you got the Braves, Brewers, and Dodgers all going to the playoffs with the Phillies, Marlins, Cubs, Reds, and Diamondbacks all battling it out and the outside chances of the Giants Padres, who probably will not make it in. Uh, so we're we're getting down to the final, I think, week and a half, maybe even week of ooh, baseball. It's getting ooh, crazy now. It's wild out there. It's wild out there. Uh, meanwhile, over in football, American football, that is, uh, we had a bunch today. We currently have the Steelers Raiders uh, tied at seven end of the first quarter. Uh, we have the 49ers beating the Giants. We have the Lions beating the Falcons. Chargers beating the Vikings. Packers beating the Saints. Fantastic win. They were down 17 0. Came back 18 17. Great win. Uh, Texans beat the Jaguars. Dolphins beat the Broncos 70 to 20. That's a that's a honker. Browns beat the Titans. Bills beat the Commanders. Colts beat the Ravens in overtime. Patriots beat the Jets. Seahawks beat the Panthers. Chiefs beat the Bears. Cardinals beat the Cowboys. And then we got Eagles, Buccaneers tomorrow, and Rams, Bengals. Well, that's sports. 
All right, what is our fact of the day? Our fact of the day. Day, day, day. The largest padlock in the world weighs 916 pounds. And what is that used to lock? Created by a team of students and teachers at the Pavlovo Arts College in Russia, the largest padlock in the world, according to the Guinness World Records, measures 56 inches tall, 41 inches wide, 20 inches deep. Altogether, this hefty lock, including key, weighs 916 pounds. Whatever it's protecting probably weighs a lot more. They don't even say. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. That doesn't tell us anything. Yeah. Why? <laughs> How do they not figure it out? Yeah, they just have the, the Guinness record, and it just says that. And it was December of 2003. Oh, there's got to be a bigger lock since then. There's got to be a bigger lock since then, no doubt. Yeah, you can't tell no me it's doubter. been 20 years since someone made a bigger lock. Yeah. No, it's... America, get uh, on that. Uh, that should be ours. <laughs> yeah, that should be ours. Um, but, I mean, the, the Guinness record hasn't been updated since then. You would think if they made a new one... They would update it. You would think. That's what I'm saying. Is. You'd think, but I don't know. I don't either. Either way, here's your fact of the day. All right, Crendor. Hit us with your special thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how I don't that know sounds. How to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we have uh, from Aaron Araujo on Twitter. I think I said your name right. If not, sorry. <laughs> uh, numerous Cox and Crendor quotes. I love it. So he's gone through and found numerous quotes through the last 100 episodes for us. So I'm going to read these quotes. And then you can tell me if you think it is me or you. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I feel like I'll be good at this. All right. Here we go. The Winter Olympics are easy. You just bundle up and kind of roll down the mountain, and then the judges say you did it. Uh, see, all right. <laughs> that has the audacity of something I would say, but the simpleness right. of something you would say. Like, it was very straight to the point. So I'm right. going to say Crendor. It is Jesse. Oh, see, that does sound like something I would say to dismiss the entire <laughs> yeah. Olympics. But it felt like something you, uh, you know, it was worded like you would say it. Yeah, I, I, that, was a, that was a tricky one. It was tough. This one is less tricky. Okay. The only thing essential about my oils is getting them off of my body because I'm gross. Oh, me. 100% me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that was a you quote. Uh... We also have, I saw a Karen in the wild, and it was a beautiful thing. Oh, me, obviously, 100%. That was you, yes. Nice. Okay, yeah, um, that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> Only I would be like, it was beautiful. <laughs> Poor Bob the oil man, just him and the oil. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's from, so I'm going to say you. <laughs> that was, in fact... Jesse. What? What were we talking about? I don't know. That was episode 303. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there's no way. That was years <laughs> ago. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we have... Oh, yeah. That's a 10-pound pancake. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> what the hell is this show about? What are we doing? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a 10-pound pancake. Yep. Uh, I'm going to say... I don't often start a sentence with, oh, yeah, so I'm going to say that's you. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> that is a me quote. <laughs> what, what episode was that from? 305. Well, of course. Well, of course. Yep. Hold on, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll mix it up a little bit here. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's an easy one. That's definitely you one. Uh... Okay, here we go, here we go. Snapple facts need to be backed up by Snapple evidence. Oh, man. I want to say that's <laughs> me. I want that to be a quote for me because it's so good. <laughs> it is. Yes. It is. <laughs> yes. 
That's a good ass <laughs> quote. Snapple facts. That's a good quote. Back to my Snapple evidence. <laughs> That's a fantastic That's quote. That's a great That's a quote. Gravestone quote. <laughs> <laughs> um, why do we park on driveways and drive on parkways? Oh, come on. That, mm, that sounds like a Crendor thing. That is, in fact, a Crendor quote. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like you read one of those books that's like, <laughs> why do we drive in driveway? That sounds like you're doing a Seinfeld <laughs> bit. Drive on driveway. Yeah. What's the <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I do It's 1 a.m. and he's just out there with nunchucks. <laughs> I love how I have no knowledge of ever <laughs> hearing or saying any of these things. Yep, I don't either. Um, but I, I would say the he's just out there with nunchucks seems like a Jesse thing. That is correct. Nice. I, I don't think I've ever heard you be like he's just out there with nunchucks. I don't think it's something you've ever said. He's just out there with nunchucks. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> Uh, he was convinced he could make the next Coke out of a person. What? I have no <laughs> idea. I'm going to say you. I don't know. He was convinced he could make the next Coke out of a person? Yes. I, I'm going to say is, you. That is not. It is a Jesse quote. What the hell were we talking about? <laughs> I have no idea. That was 335. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh... No, that's a guard gator. That gator is guarding that home. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, Ooh, I'm gonna say Crendor. That's a Crendor. That is a Crendor. Yep, that's yep. a trickier one. Yep. It felt like it was something uh, that I would say because it seemed stupid, but I know it was in response to me being stupid that you would have said that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I think the toilet is the next great invention. <laughs> <laughs> me, one hundred percent me, for sure. Yeah, that is in fact you. Three twenty three. I remember that episode because it's still smart. We haven't changed the toilet in hundreds of years. Yeah, and the toilet at this point is the same thing it was in the eighteen hundreds. We can adapt. We can change. Uh. We're like the Sega CD of podcasts. It's all nostalgia. We were never good. Oh, that's you for sure. That is you. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we. <laughs> this is clearly a ghost deer and not a river troll. <laughs> that's me for sure. <laughs> that is you. Yes. <laughs> I don't need context for that. It just sounds like something I would say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I don't care. I'm Internet Oprah. Oh man, I don't. <laughs> I I hope that's you and not me, because I if I had the audacity to be like, I'm Internet Oprah. That's you for sure. That was me. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have. I've been drinking the same three things every day for the last five years. Oh, that's you. That's no way. That's me. That is you. What? No. Yeah, that was you. Episode 334. What were you drinking? I don't remember. 334 was... How long ago was 334? You remember you looked this up. It was like 60-something episodes. What was that like was a year ago? It wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on. It could have been longer. It could have been longer. I got to go. I got like six. There's like 60 or like 50. How many... Weeks in a year, like fifty-six. Too many weeks. Fifty-two. Too, too many weeks. We don't. We I think don't. It's fifty-two weeks, right? Uh, what episode was that? Three. Hold on, I lost it. Uh, the 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 three. Uh, uh, was it thirty-four? Oh God, I think three thirty-four. That was yeah, April twenty twenty-two. Yeah. So, so all right. So all right. Over a year, yeah. I still don't remember any of it. I couldn't. Maybe I was referencing something you were talking about. It was mocking earlier, you because I early in the episode, there's a quote from you that says, "Now someone might say, hey, stop taking that much caffeine. You're getting headaches. What if you shut up and let me drink my caffeine and let me have my addiction?" <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. That sounds correct. <laughs> yep. 
Um, so it must have been some sort of coffee thing. Yeah, definitely coffee thing. Maybe yeah. maybe it was me talking about three drinks and it's coffee based drinks that I'm talking about. Yeah, that might be. Because that doesn't sound like I like today alone. I've had four separate drinks that weren't the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right, here we go. We have. Uh. <laughs> I want that water that's been chilled for two million years. Oh, me, one hundred percent. Yep, that is, is a you. I want that water in the in like the deep ice caps. Oh my, oh my god, dude! <laughs> last so last night, as I was saying, I was laying in bed, and I was just like trying to not hurt, and I was on TikTok scrolling through. Which, by the way, thank you for sending me amazing TikToks as usual. <laughs> but yeah. um, I was scrolling through, and I got to the weird section where this guy was like. You know how there's that music they put on the bits like ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da, like the creepy music, right? Oh yeah. And this guy was like, "Did you know that in Antarctica there is a secret they're not telling us?" And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm in. Let's go. What is this gonna be?" The guy starts off being like, or like a you know like when they try to hide their face and their voice, right? Yeah. And he's like, "I served with the U.S. government in Antarctica, <laughs> and I have a revelation that will shock the world." Scientists there are not just studying the ice, but another type of ice called blue sky ice. And this ice is so blue and so pure that it melts in your hand but doesn't release water. It turns into vapor. And I was curious what was going on with it, so I investigated further while I was stationed there. And it basically is him saying that the scientists are drilling. And the, the specialized drill bits and things they have... They found a secret underground ice wall, and the ice wall, when they try to drill through it, it freezes over before they can drill through it. And at the end, it's literally like one of those insane flat earth ice wall surrounds us <laughs> conspiracy yeah. things. And I was waiting for it to happen. It took four videos, dude, before he got to like, and this is why the earth is flat. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I was so happy. That I was like, I can't believe it took this long to get to this craziness. But <laughs> unreal. I can't believe people are just like, so trust me on this. It's flat earth. Like, okay. All right. All right, cool kid. <laughs> well, he's got to be right. He said it on the internet. Yeah. I mean, some guy <laughs> with, who did a voiceover and then showed like a face of a man that was blurred out 100% is trustworthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a ghost. What are you going to do? Um... That sounds like something I would say. That is a Krendor quote. Oh, that's good, too. That does sound like something you would say as well. That's true. Yeah, that, was a, that was a neutral. I'm a ghost. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm 73 years old. I don't give a shit. Oh, that's 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 probably you. That is a Jesse quote. Oh, well, <laughs> that's my future, I guess. Uh, we deserve to know what we are putting in our buddy. Wait, I mean body. Crendor. That is a Jesse quote. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I tried to pawn that one off on you. I'll be real. Uh, this is a classic. Jesus, take the wheel. I'm about to bang this lizard. <laughs> That's me, baby. <laughs> yep. That's a 100% bona fide Jesse Cox quote. <laughs> uh, nobody's goofing on Bjork. Oh, nobody's goofing on Bjork sounds like... Uh, boy, that sounds like something you would say. So I'm gonna say me. It is in fact you. All right, see now I'm learning. I'm learning. If I think it's something you would say, it's definitely me. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You just do the old uh, reverse psychology. Yep. Um. All right, here we go. Final three coming in. Final okay. three. You're all ready. right. Here we go. This is the final round. <laughs> Honest to God, that really is the perfect relationship where you are just friends and then once in a while you look at each other's junk. Jesse Cox, 100%. <laughs> yep. I know what I am. <laughs> yep. That's, uh, that's, you. that's your freebie. Now, we're going to get crazy here, all right? Oh, no, that's, uh, that's, you're going to get that one. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> all right. This one we're just doing because... <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eating ass serves a purpose. Eating milk with a spoon while talking to yourself outside, that's madness. <laughs> that is me for sure. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> that is a <laughs> you quote. That's that's yeah. That's me talking about the dude I think across the street from me who I thought was like a Russian spy or something. <laughs> yep. I think that's what that was about. I'm not sure what ass eating got in there, but like yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, I stand no, by I, it. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, here we go. This is the ultimate quote. This is it. I'm the power fantasy guy. I'd like to love to be LeBron James dunking on little kids. That's definitely me. That is you. Yep. That's yeah, all these. Are, all these sound like something I would say, and I mean that. <laughs> I want the power fantasy. <laughs> I want to be LeBron in a high school just picking on children. Yes. <laughs> just dunking and like getting in their face like, what up? What up? Yeah, that's me. That's what yeah, I want. I could, I could imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, so there we go. That's, uh, I love it. Those are the quotes from the last 100, well, I guess up to 364 episodes. <laughs> 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 yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Lovely. All right. Well, I learned a lot about myself today. I'm not sure any of it was I did good. Too. <laughs> that's it for us. Thanks so much for listening or watching. I'm enjoying this podcast. Grendor, hit him with the socials. You can go check out all the episodes of this podcast at youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor Podcast. And they are conveniently split up into playlists for every year. What? So if you're like, wow, I sure want to listen to 2021 episodes like we were just looking for the quotes, you can find it in the playlist. They're very easily, wow. What? That's crazy. Uh, also, like, comment, subscribe, give your weather request. Also, you can go to youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor. That's where you find all the animations. You also got Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. We're all over. Uh, you can find us on our uh, main, uh, uh, main the channels. We got YouTube.com, Jesse Cox, YouTube.com, Crendor, Patreon, Jesse Cox, Patreon, Crendor, Twitch TV, Jesse Cox, Twitch TV, Crendor, Facebook, Jesse Cox, Facebook, Crendor, Instagram, Notorious Cox, Instagram, Crendor was taken, Jesse Cox, TikTok, uh, Crendor, TikTok, uh, Cren Clips, Cox Clips, Warhammer, Crendor, uh, home. <laughs> yeah. Yum. All right. <laughs> That's it for us. We'll see y'all next time. And as always, Woo. to be continued.